Ah, uh, yes. Howdy, friendos. I'm Crazy Jason, and welcome to my movie adventure. Today, I'm starting off at uh, the pawn shop because I am on the hunt for Silver Linings Playbook, which was my personal number two favorite of um, last year. Number two. Uh, number one being The Master, for those of you who might be curious. Anyway, I uh, haven't been here in a long time, so uh, hopefully they've restocked. And uh, they usually have a few good things. So uh, I will see you on the flip side. Okay, so yeah, they had, uh, had a couple things that I uh, wanted, actually. Was uh, pretty happy to get. Um, the first thing I'll talk about is uh, da, 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 Hatchet 2. Have not seen it. This is a blind buy. But I thoroughly enjoyed the first Hatchet. And oddly enough, I don't have the first Hatchet on Blu-ray. I have it on DVD. He's just a little kid, a little eight-year-old kid flipping me off just for no reason whatsoever. I, I don't, that's hilarious. But uh, thanks for driving a diesel truck, pal. Like, you really need that. You really, really need to drive it. Okay. Anyway, I'm not really that angry. I just, because uh, the, the kid flipping me off diffused the anger. Anyway, Hatchet 2, have not seen it. Love the first one. Got it on Blu-ray, even though I only have the first one on DVD. Uh, second thing I got, I uh, feel kind of icky touching it, and now it's touching my shirt, and that would be Monster. Yes, uh, Charlize Theron with the uh, nasty face, and uh, Christina Ricci with the even nastier looking face. Oddly, Christina Ricci, no makeup uh, for the nastier face, but uh, Charlize Theron with makeup. Oh, that got too close to my face, but I had to scratch my, I had to scratch my face, and then I uh, got, it, got it too close. I can see a little crusty on, uh, on the monster, yeah. A little bit of crust. Uh, so I'm going to have to change that. Uh, I'm not even going to wipe it down. I'm just going to straight up throw it away, change out the whole case. Anyway, um, <clears throat> back to what I was saying. This is right up my alley. I just love dark uh, trailer trash movies like this. So anyway, I am headed to get some Chinese food and then Best Buy for some more upgrade and save goodness. Okay, I placed my order at the Chinese place and now I'm walking down to Dollar General to get some uh, supplies, to get some snacks for my uh, Blu-ray watching pleasure this evening. And uh, this should be a lot. I just wanted to tell you guys because you, for bargain hunting, you need to look everywhere. You go into a grocery store, look around, because uh, you know you gotta to, to really get the bargains. You gotta look in places. Speaking of looking, there's a guy in a BMW that's looking at me like I'm a freak. But hey, we're in Spartanburg, and I guess I am a freak because uh, I have uh, IQ. Uh, uh, above 70 and uh, you know I don't know what else but you know whatever the fuck mm, Blu-rays mixed in with DVDs $10 for Hugo Young Adult that was a strange movie to say the least uh, Charlize Theron was a little off-putting in this movie and that's uh coming from me who just bought Monster. That's uh, saying something. Kung Fu Panda. Uh, Toy Story 3 for $10. Beach Boys in Concert. There's a lot of interesting... Um, not, not bad prices. $10 is not bad for some of those. Um, the rest of these appear to be DVDs. Three Stooges collection. They have, let's see, volume two and volume one and volume two. I love the Three Stooges, and I don't have any any of their films 
on DVD or Blu-ray, believe it or not. I know, I know. I need to rectify that. Well, that's about it for Dollar General, guys. The Chinese fed me well. So now I've got some fuel in my stomach and uh, my brain power has kicked in a little bit more. And now we have arrived at the beastly beast. Yes, indeed. And uh, I'm going for two things in particular. Uh, just two things. And I hope that they have them both. And then that will make me a happy man and I can just go home. Because there are two things that I kind of want to go ahead and watch. <clears throat> so, anywho, I it's fuck it, it's a hundred degrees outside, and I'm real. I'm just not feeling like taking a camera in today, guys. You've seen mountain loads of spy cam footage from me uh, over and over again. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna come back to the car and show you the haul. Okay, so yeah, they had both things that I was looking for, and I just got the two things. Um, I actually took in three DVDs just in case, uh, but I ended up walking out with a spare coupon, which I am using next Tuesday because I believe the sale, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the sale continues until next Tuesday, and there's something, there's a Blu-ray coming out Tuesday that's really, really huge for me, so uh, saving it for that. I picked up Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. It's about goddamn time. That's what Max is thinking right there. And she's thinking, Master Plaster don't run by the town. This is upgrading straight from VHS to Blu-ray. Um, as a kid, I loved this movie. Um, I loved it, you know, probably... I loved all of the Mad Max films as a kid, um, and you know, I, I want to, it's been a while since I've watched it, but uh, all of the things that irritate me about this movie, like down the kids, I want to see if it irritates me more or the same. So anyway, uh, this appears to be a bare bones disc, I don't see any features whatsoever. Which is fine by me, as long as the transfer is good. I'm sure it's an upgrade from uh, VHS, that's for sure. Um, and, uh, hey, crazy, why didn't you buy the uh, the Mad Max 10 with all three films in a cool tin packaging? Uh, well, there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, first reason is um, I looked at the 10 um, when it came out, what, a month ago, six weeks ago, something like that? And I just didn't like it. Um, it had that weird. It has that weird indentation in the back side of it, like it's not a full. You know what I'm talking about. If you've got it. The other thing is the cover art. I I don't understand that. It's like a, a black and white of Max, and then the a tread mark going over his face. That's just not what I wanted. I didn't want the tread mark face. Um, because, uh, see, I've got all of the original posters for these films, and uh, I know there's a lot of great artwork out there, and we just didn't need that, okay? We, we had great shit, and we didn't need that. I mean, the iconic image of him walking down the road with a dog would have been fine by me. As a matter of fact, that's what they're putting out in Europe, I believe, this coming month or September, maybe. Now, that is something that I would love to have. Um, it's, uh, they're, they're doing it in the design of a, a gas can a la Reservoir Dogs. Uh, the, the Reservoir Dogs, if you don't know, has a gas can edition. Uh, they're doing that for the Mad Max trilogy, which makes perfect sense. And, uh, just look, Google it. It's fucking awesome looking. Here we get the, uh, just a, a, a tin. It looks like it should, uh, chocolates should come in it. And it's got the Max looking angry with treads on his face. Anyway, the other reason, and I, and I hate to ramble here, but I kind of have a history with my Mad Max films buying them on Blu-ray because Road Warrior came first, 2008. It was one of the first Blu-rays that I bought, and I believe it was the first Blu-ray bargain, at least in my mind, as I remember it, that I got because it was at Target. I remember this. It was at Target for $10.00. 
somebody told me and I went to Target and it was sitting there and it was $10 and I was so happy and um, <clears throat> you know at the time I thought $10 was a fantastic price for a Blu-ray and I watched it and the PQ I thought was just awesome especially for the time um, and uh, then uh, what a couple years later they put out Mad Max and the story of that is I spent a, a good part of a year hunting down a good price on that so those movies I worked for those movies and they they have special value for me so I need something more to make me uh, you know give those up and get a, a, a box but I'm, I'm perfectly happy to get this for five dollars that's for sure now drum roll please I said drum roll god damn it Da 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 Oh, that's the wrong, um, wrong John Williams. Anyway, let's just get to it. Indiana Jones. Yes, finally. The Complete Adventures. Now, so, uh, they, they gave me the price match to their online website, and they took the $5 off for the trade and save. So I got this for less than 30 bucks. That was my price point. Now, who's to say it's not gonna, you know, uh, Black Friday probably dropped to 30 bucks, maybe 25, who knows, lightning deal for two hours, $20, but it's here, it's now, I don't know what the future holds. I'm in the mood to watch uh, these movies. However, I'm in the mood to watch the official trilogy, the original three from the 80s, uh, and not the fourth one, because let me explain. Uh, the first three movies are, are just awesome. They're, they're all awesome in their own right. And then um, you have The Last Crusade, and they're all going off, riding off into the sunset. And it's a beautiful end to a, a three-film marathon, you know? And then you go and put in number four. But uh, very happy to have this, guys. And uh, I think, though, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go home and watch this. This is what I've been waiting a really long time to watch. Years I've been waiting to watch this on Blu-ray. This is, this is one of the biggies for me. So that'll do her. I'm Crazy Jason. Thanks for riding along with me on my movie adventures, baby.